All right, guys, this is going to be a <clears throat> pretty short video on this one. Um, so I think this stuff is about as straightforward as anything we've had. Um, <clears throat> this, uh, what we're going to be talking about is thermal expansion. Um, the chapter was about temperature and thermal expansion. Basically, temperature talked about uh, what temperature is. I think a lot of you guys have a pretty good idea about what that is. Um, and some of it also was about uh, how to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit. To be honest, I just think you need to look up that equation um, and, and uh, figure it out. One thing um, I will tell you is that um, uh, is that there's a there's a third type of um, uh, a third type of temperature uh, that you're um, you know that you're that, that you're going to find in these problems, which is Kelvin. All right, and basically Kelvin is just your temperature in degrees Celsius um, plus two hundred seventy three. Okay, um, uh, and, and so. Um, and then that's actually that that's uh, and, and so you know if you zero degrees Celsius is 273 Kelvin um, so on and so forth uh, and so um, you may come across that um, that's important because all these linear expansion um, units that we use are in um, per degree uh, Celsius but because a, um, a degree Celsius and a degree Kelvin uh, sorry, and a Kelvin are the same spacing. It turns out that you can also use temperatures, differences in temperatures in Kelvin as well uh, for all of these problems, um, and it will work. You can't use um, Fahrenheit. Uh, for Fahrenheit, you have to find different um, different expansion numbers. So we're going to do two quick examples. The first is we're going to um, be setting some tile. All right, and we're going to um, we're going to make our tile um, uh, uh, half meter by half meter. Real nice, cushy, big tiles. Um, and they're going to be made of marble. And what we're going to ask is, is that um, we're going to have these up against one another. And basically we're going to find out um, how if we kind of, um, we're going to find out basically uh, if we let those sit, um, what's going to be the spacing between the two of them. Um, so basically how much will that spacing between them shrink uh, as we change the temperature, and that's important. This actually comes up a lot um, when you're putting decks down, things like this, uh, because you actually put some space in here um, between, let's say, tiles and stuff like that, basically to allow for that expansion. So we're going to take a pretty extreme uh, case, um, uh, which is, um, you know, let's say we're putting this out on a patio um, in a place that gets really hot and really cold, you know, even here in Pennsylvania. Um, so the low temperatures will be... Um, is going to be let's say um, uh, you know minus uh, 10 degrees Celsius it gets about that that low around here um, and then the high temperature is going to be um, uh, you know I don't know it gets to like um, you know probably 35 or something like that but you know with the you know with the sun on the marble like let's say it even gets as high as 50 degrees C um, <clears throat> I don't know uh, I don't know that it'll get that much hotter than that, but let's let's just use those numbers for now. So it's getting pretty warm, um, uh, and 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 also pretty cold to allow for a really really large range. Um, so um, the general equation for um, the change in the length of this marble, so basically how much that the that that thing will change, um, it's just equal to this alpha. All right, these these are. Uh, that's a linear expansion co coefficient. Um, this one's alpha in your chart. This one's beta. I just pulled part of this chart out of the um, out of your uh, um, out of your book. Um, so it's just alpha times uh, the initial length, basically how long it is right now, times the change in temperature. And I mean, there's nothing there's nothing uh, uh, special about this equation. Basically, all they've done is they basically just taken. Um, uh, this is just what's called an empirical equation. There's no, there's no actual fundamental physics in it. What they do is they just take, let's say, a piece of marble and they change uh, how hot it is, and they basically measure how much its length changes. Um, that's it's called an empirical. There's no fundamental laws. It basically, it's just something that's measured. All right. So let's see how much it'll change. Um, the alpha for marble is 2.5 times 10 to the minus six um, per degree C. And then uh, the length right now we said is 0 0.5 meters. And the change in temperature is just going to be 50 minus minus 10. 
um, all in Celsius. And so um, at 2.5, just gonna times 0.5, we'll just get us 1.25 times 10 to the minus 6 um, meters from the degree Celsius, and then <coughs> and then we'll just uh, take this and subtract that. This is going to be 50 plus 10. This is going to be 60 degrees C. Uh, if we multiply that out, <coughs> we're going to get um, uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, 70, um, you know, around 7 times, this is actually 7, 7, um, uh, 75 times 10 to the minus 6 meters, which is um, 7.5 times 10 to the minus 5 meters. Um, so the change in the length will be um, around 75 microns, um, or uh, the other way to think about it is 0 .0, um, 0 0.075 millimeters. Um, it's not going to change at all, basically. Um, you could have the things almost touching. Uh, as long as it's not a continuous piece, um, you're not going to run into any problems. And that's generally what you're going to find with all these things. The, the length changes are really small. The places where it matters are things like bridges, which are super long um, and go through really large temperature fluctuations. Uh, but for the most part, um, you know, if you calculate how much your drink, the volume of your drink changes um, as it cools down, um, the, how much the length of you know various objects change as they heat and cool down. Um, it, it just isn't that much. It's a small amount. It, it's not negligible. It's not zero. I mean, you can still you know some of the um, you know some some creaking you hear sometimes when things are heating up and cooling down. Uh, radiators heating up and cooling down. Basically, that's what that all that pinging is basically coming from the expansion and contraction to some extent. Um, but for the most part, just none of it matters. Um, it's really small. Uh, but it, it ends up mattering whenever things are really big. So people who build buildings need to pay attention to this. Um, people who, uh, you know, people who look at, um, uh, you know, at, at building bridges, things like that, need to monitor this as well. And so that's why we look at it. I hope that was useful. Um, that get, definitely gives you enough of a background to go ahead and be able to do this um, and, and to, to come into class prepared. And uh, we'll talk about it uh, tomorrow.